One lamb looks dead. Hello, you. I'm keeping an eye on you guys. See if there's gonna be any babies today. Who knows? But there's one lamb that looks dead. Do you see it's just lying there? Passed out cold asleep. Mama's fine. What's up with you? Are you gonna have a baby today? Hmm, feathers? Are you gonna have a baby today? Well, what about you, Oreo Bloom? You gonna have a baby? Poor little lamb. I don't wanna wake it up. Let me see if I kick the gate. There we go, it's awake. Okay, that's so cruel of me, but you always want to make sure the lambs are alive. Poor baby, what a shock. Anyway, just so that you can see, that's what I'm keeping an eye on. The fig tree is leafing out beautifully. Beautiful fig leaves occurring. So hopefully we'll have figs later in the year. I'm cleaning out my spinning room so all the wheels and stuff are out here at the moment but what i am doing is potting on doing light work because of my vaccine yesterday and everybody says be careful don't overdo it so these are two tomatoes that were gifts to me and uh so i'm potting them on into bigger pots one is gardener's delight and one's brad's Ooh, tomato. Not quite sure. I can't quite read my friend's writing. So those are that's what I'm doing here. I've potted on some other seedlings of flowers. This is the carrot bag for a certain person who is munching away very happily here. Aren't you? Munching away at her hay very happily. I don't... Sorry, no carrot. I can't feed you carrots every single time. Or we'd run out of carrots. And it wouldn't be good for you anyway. Too many carrots. You'd turn into an orange pony. So I dip my freshly potted plants in that and let them drain. That's one of my rain barrels. And I have very cross birds. There must be something that's fledged in the yard. Do you hear them telling us off? You hear that chattering sound. So it means that there is a, a bird that's fledged somewhere here in the yard. We have the swallows flying overhead. I'm trying to see where the bird is so I know which kind it is. It might be a wren. There's two of them. You can see here the mother and the father. The, or one of the parent is there and one parent is there. So there's a fledgling somewhere in the area and it's being warned to watch out for us. Brindle's lying there, Pepper there. Inca's being a very good assistant. So is Bear. So I'm gonna get on to potting, keeping an eye on alpaca and listening to birds tell me off that they have babies somewhere here. It's a wren, I was right. If you look right on top of the light, you can see that tiny, tiny bird. So there's a wren baby that is fledged out somewhere. And so the wren is trying to keep an eye on it. You might be able to hear the hum of the bees here. They love Cotoneaster. So they're all over the place, even bumblebees. Let's see, where can I, can I get the, there it is. There's the bumblebee working on the pollinating the flowers. There's honeybees everywhere. Of course, where I point the camera, there is no honeybee. There you can kind of see them. This bumblebee's come bumbling out and away he goes. There we go, or she goes. So there you go. And this is vetch, and vetch is delicious in the salad. When you eat the flowers, these flowers, they taste nutty. Absolutely delicious to eat. Lots of people see it as a weed, but I feed it to the animals and I eat it myself. Oven mitt is 
in between the two old uh, hay tether wheels, horse-drawn vehicle. I think they were, that's what they were for. Anyway, this is where I had all my seedlings, tree seedlings, and grafted trees. They've all been planted out this spring. So this space is now finished being used and waiting for the next series of seedlings. Isn't that right, Evan Met? Very helpful cat. Yes, showing me the space can now be reused. I'm due to get a whole load of baby oak and horse chestnut trees from someone who grew them from seed. So they will go in there because it's a really lovely sheltered spot from the sun because they don't want direct light. You have to imagine that they are babies underneath their parent trees or just out from the shadows. So I don't put them in full sun until they're a few years old. So that's gonna be, um, that space is gonna be refilled soon.